Welcome back everyone, it's Chris and in this video I'm going to be adding pagination to our table. So right now you see we, we are able to list our expenses, but then there are many. We should also be able to view five at a time or four at a time depending on how we want to customize it. And the way we can do that is by adding pagination here. So we are going to be able to add these links such that we can show like five items on every page, but the user can navigate back and forth and also go to specific pages. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so going back to our code, if you go to our view right here, you notice that whenever a user comes with a index view, we send them all the we send them all the expenses that we get from our DB. But what we want to now to do is basically have a way of sending like different sections of these expenses. So what this one does now is it's going to return for us a query set. So Django has some utility that can enable us to split that data and send it, send it to the view accordingly. So right now, I'm going to import a class called paginator, which is in Django core paginator import called paginator. Okay, so once we have that, then we need to go to our view. So right here, now we need to construct a paginator. So do paginator. This one will be equal to the class and then we are going to now pass it our expenses, the ones we want to paginate and then we give it how many items we want to see per page. Okay, so right now let's start out by choosing like two just to, to get something to test with quickly. Then we are going to now need to query the objects for a specific page. So for us to do that, let me set up another variable called page number. And then this one is gonna be gonna use request dot gate. Then I'm gonna call dot gate dot gate dot gate. Okay, so this is gonna be picking values from the URL, and then it's gonna pick a value called page. So basically, over in our URL, whenever we have something like page equals something like page equals one. This is what it's going to do. So get, get, basically we'll look out for the value of a page at a time and then return it. Okay, so once we have that, now we need to construct a page object. So a page object will represent the expenses we will see on those individual pages. So I'm going to call it page obj. Then I'm going to set it to paginator, get page. So get page basically takes in the page. So basically it takes in the page. So the page now will be the page number that we'll get from our URL. So pass in the page number and this will return for us our paginator. So, so now we also need to set, to send this paginator object to our view. So send it in our dictionary. Okay. Okay, so once we add it to our dictionary, it means it's going to be accessible in our view. So let's hoop over to our index.html so right here, so we're going to make a simple change. So instead of looping through the, the expenses, we are going to now look through the, we are now going to be looping through the page OBJ because now they are sectioned. Okay, so once we have that, I'm going to go back to our application, which is here, reload it, and then we have an issue. So get page actually takes in a page number. So let's take a look in our views.py. When we say paginator.getPage. Okay, so first thing it will take in the paginator itself and then the page number. So pass the paginator and then the page number. Okay, so once you set that up, let's go ahead and reload. You can see that it comes and then it is showing only two. Okay, so it's so now it's sectioning our data and then it's showing only two. Now, the first thing I'm gonna have to show you is how to see how many pages are there and what kind, what page we are on. Now, if you go to our list, so outside the, the table, I'm going to add a div. So this is gonna be div class, it's gonna be. So basically in here, I'm going to, to be able to add something like this. So this is going to, look like show this 
like being able to see which page we are on and how many pages they are. Okay, so for us to know which page we are on, let me first write the word showing, page. So for us to know which page we are on, you note that you notice that we send the paginator object down to the view. So we can do paginator obj. So we can call a property called number. So this is going to return for us the number of our current page object. Okay, so then we can do of. So now of now we can do page obj. Then we can call dot paginator. Then dot num underscore pages. Okay, so let me leave, put some spaces here. So now if we come back to our application and then reload, you can see that we get page one out of five, which is what we want. So this is page one out of five. So now next thing we are going to now have to add the links to navigate between those pages. I'm actually going to bring in some code here. Okay, so I'm going to bring in this, then we go over it. So basically, this is the normal bootstrap pagination classes. So the pagination class basically will give us some styles for it to look good. And then right here, you see, we check if the current page object has some previous pages. So if a user is like on page two and then or three, then the previous pages would be one and two. So we check if, if, if we have that, then we show a link that basically that basically navigates to the, that previous page. So basically on the page object, we have properties that you can call. So the property like previous page number. So you can call that and then that will link directly to the previous page number. Same thing for the next. So we first check if it's the current page has next. So as next basically will return true or false depending on if, if, if the current page is the last page we are viewing or it's not. Okay, so if it's not if it's not the last page, basically if it has some next pages, then we show the option to go to the next one. And then, of course, now if we want to navigate straight to the last one, the last one's page number will be equal to the to the to to the whole number of pages. So you see, we navigate directly to the last page number. Okay. So once we have that, let's, let's go ahead and look at how it looks. So if I reload here, you can see that we have the pagination here on the right. So here we are on page one. That's why we see we have next. So when you click next, you can see that now we have, now the page object has previous. So you will see now we render the previous one, which is this one. And then we show the first one, which is one. Okay, so clicking on one goes back. Then now we can safely navigate through previous next and then we can go to the last page or the first page accordingly. Okay, so the paginator class actually makes this thing like really easy to do. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to be pausing the video here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be implementing some Ajax search stuff.